What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Reset Relationships. It's your boy Alex, one half of Bedroom Confession. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe, and let's get straight into it because I gotta talk about Drake. I hate to talk about Drake because I'm a Drake fan. I be trying to defend Drake. Y'all be trying to say Drake act like a girl and he's soft and he's feminine, and most of it is because he light skinned and we need to stop the colorism, y'all. So I used to stand up for Drake. I used to be like, that's not true. And he started hanging out with Future, so he had his muscle, and I was like, yeah. And then he started doing stuff that makes me feel like everything y'all kind of said about him is right. From bringing up sleeping with SZA Who asked you for that information Why'd you say that You almost got yourself caught up Because she just barely was legal And you didn't even have to bring this up Now apparently he's flying out People's fiancés For record deals And then sleeping with them So short version This dude I think his name was Justine Sky Or something like that Something like that Whatever, that's a crazy name for a dude, but I'm telling y'all, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Anyway, he apparently, his girl got a contract offer from Drake. I guess she sings. She looks like Georgia Smith. Drake definitely has a type, but whatever. He goes, I want to bring her up. I want her to try out. You know, I want to see if she, you know, got it, the it factor. He ain't know he was talking about something besides singing, but whatever. He says, I'm going to fly you up. So first of all, let's start with number one. There's so much simp in here that is crazy. Y'all talking about Drake a pimp. Drake ain't no pimp. Drake a simp. Let's start with this. Why would you fly up her and her man when your intention is to cheat? And don't say, well, maybe he didn't intend to cheat. That's what girls say. I didn't know what the intention was. Once you invited the dude to the crib, you knew what the intention was. It was rather or not it was going to go down. You flew her up there. You knew you was attracted to her. You know you're Drake. We know what this is about. So my thing is, why did you even fly her boyfriend up there? To be extra petty because Drake acts like a girl. But we're going to go further into how ridiculous this whole situation is, okay? So he flies the boyfriend up there for no reason when he know he planned on sleeping with this man's fiance, okay? Then they go and work out together. So what you? Ch why would you chill with the dude when you know you plan on sleeping with his fiance? Again, girl stuff. Completely unmasked. This is not pimping. This is what a pimp would have did. He would have had her pay to come up for the experience to be with Drake for the weekend. That's what a pimp would have did. Most women would pay to get to Drake and just experience Drake for the weekend and get themselves back. This dude paid to get her there and her man. And y'all gonna tell me this man's a pimp? But it gets even worse than that. So he goes and hangs out with the dude. He wanna be all friendly, friendly. Why are you being all friendly, friendly, all up in the man's face being weird and stuff? Then I guess he goes with the girl. They do what they do. This dude find out about it. He gonna go online and say, so then to make matters worse, you would think Drake must have posted this or it must have been leaked by somebody or something. No, the dude posted this. Yeah, that's right. The dude posted this. That might be the most feminine thing that happened in this whole thing. He went online. He looking for sympathy, y'all. He all like, I done gave her eight years and the ring and to think that it all ends like this. And she would all throw it all away for one night. And he out here crying. Like, dude, first of all, why would you post your L and you a grown man? Would you thought we was going to cry with you? We was going to feel bad? Well, some of these red pill dating coaches out here crying with him because, you know, they, they out here. They're like, you see what these women do? Some of them crying with him, but real dudes ain't crying with you. First of all, real dudes like me is wondering, number one, why would you even let your girl fly to go see Drake? What you thought was going to happen? Guys, is there anyone who's honestly watching, even women watching this right now who think, I'm going to go and fly and see Drake and nothing's going to happen? But me actually singing and seeing if I can get a record deal. <laughs> Nobody thinks that. Like, come on, yo. So that's problem number one, okay? Then he said, fly up there with me. Okay, I get that. Listen, at this point, me, I'm assuming that Drake is flying my girl up there to do what it do. So I'm talking how much you paying at this point. Like, I'm something, I'm trying to go. He hanging out with the dude. My thing is, you hanging out, you going, you working out with this dude. Y'all chatty patty. It sounds to me like. You a fan. You a fan just like she is. You out here, you like, I'm hanging with Drake. He probably took some selfies and posted them on his Instagram. <laughs> Got his likes up at OVO or whatever Drake's name is now. I think it's still Champagne Poppy. At Champagne Poppy with me. Whole time Champagne Poppy lurking with his little bottle. He always got some wine in his hand or something. He think he Dr. Evil. He think he, he trying to compete with Uzi for the baddest chick in the game. He always got some bottle. He on there like this. People talk about some Drake ain't said nothing since all this happened. Lies. Drake on there like this with some black and white photo talking about some no remorse. What are you talking about, Drake? No remorse. First of all, you've been singing about the same girl for 15 years. What are you talking about? You have no remorse. 
Like, yo, the whole situation is just ridiculous. First of all, I keep telling y'all, you never win sleeping with someone's girl. You know, this dude, you out here working out with this dude. You know how many times he done probably went and worked out and then let a low right off in that girl and you following behind that? You know what type of stuff they done probably did and you following behind that and you Drake? You can have any girl in the world and you're going to take somebody's leftovers and go and chill with the dude whose leftovers it is and then take the leftovers and try to tell me you the savage. Drake's the savage. Drake not the savage here. You're, dude, again, you're Drake. You should be able to get your own girl. You're sleeping with someone who's been with the same man for eight years. His DNA and consciousness is all up in this woman, and you following behind that willingly, and you trying to tell me you won in your Drake. I don't understand that, guys. Why don't you go and get your own girl? Now, it's like, what if this dude come and try to kill you or something like that? You can get seriously hurt behind cheating with people and things of that nature and all this stuff. And my thing is, again, you're a Drake. What are you doing flying out people's fiancés if you're a Drake? You work, you make all that money, and you flying out people's fiancés. Drake always picked the weirdest people to sleep with. Strippers, porn stars, people's fiancés, girls who are barely 18. Like, yo, Drake got to chill, man. At some point, somebody got to just take his phone away and tell him to sit down for a minute. And then here's what's crazy, guys. I want to end on this. Y'all see how corny Drake is, right? All right? All Drake did was go to the gym. And grow a beard. And all this corniness is forgiven. Him telling about SZA when no one asked. Him telling about Georgia Smith when no one asked. Him sleeping with somebody's fiance. Him knocking up a porn star and not telling nobody about the baby. He had to be forced to tell about his own baby. Women forgave all that because he got money, clout, he light-skinned, and he got muscles now. And a beard. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just got to throw that in the clothes. Because you can't get cornier than Drake. And they all like him. But you can, this dude was on video with LeBron talking about some. Look, I, I, when he dissed me, I, I wanted to say something, but I didn't. I was like, I hope I hope I didn't let you down. LeBron, like, what did I say? You, you said, I can never let you down. Like, that's your daddy. Daddy, Bron, Bron. And he's still getting chicks. Matter of fact, he got this man's fiance. Eight years to come up there and cheat. After all this, I, I mean, good Lord. <laughs> we living in wild times, man. This is why I tell y'all about the connection, man. You start dating chicks who are in the industry and stuff like his girl sing. Like, at the end of the day, she got to do what she got to do to get on, man. She's not about the family. They ain't got no kids yet or nothing. She trying to get on. He trying to get on. So, hey, that's a cold game. That's why I tell y'all all the time, when you're dating, you need to date family-oriented women, not career-oriented women, because the career women watch about to get mad at me, but this is what happens when you date career-oriented women. She gets a chance to progress her career and possibly sign with OVO. She's going to do what she got to do. In my opinion, he shouldn't even really be mad about it because it's like, again, why did you even let her go there? But anyways, I'm Alex, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.